Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is all the activities and toys that my 17 month old son plays with in a day. These are to give you some ideas. So I hope this is helpful for you. First off, he's playing with this car ramp and he absolutely loves this. This car ramp is so beneficial for his development. It's a bit like ball ramps, but with the cars, I'm following his lead. And like I've said before, this was $15 off Facebook Marketplace. I have seen it on Amazon and I didn't actually realize that it lights up and makes all these sounds. We've never had that. It's such a great toy some of the benefits of ball ramps and car ramps is the cause and effect so that satisfaction in play when he puts the car down it gets to the bottom great for eye tracking gross motor skills so as you can see here he's standing he's squatting he's using his large muscles he's strengthening them and then as well as the fine motor skills of placing the car at the top of the ramp so that it'll go down the ramp because this gives gratification and reward, it builds confidence and watching the car go down the ramp. So there's some great benefits in this activity. Next one is the lawn mower. So this is perfect for modeling what his dad does when he mows the lawn, as well as he loves transporting items from one place to the other. He loves to be on the move. This one is noisy, like it does make a popping sound. I don't mind the popping. I can hear where he is. If I can't see him, I can tell where he's moving around. Miss three will use it for imagination play she will pretend she's filling it up with petrol and then off she goes mowing the lawn next is practical life skills so emptying the dishwasher in his 16 month activity video I didn't actually show any of this but he's been doing this for a couple of months he likes to empty the items and put them into his cupboard we've called it his cupboard and he'll put his plate in and his bowl I removed the plastic items from the top shelf down to the bottom shelf for him Otherwise, he'll just climb up onto the dishwasher and I don't want the dishwasher to break. Then, like I said, he's got his own cupboard, cupboard and in his cupboard, there are just plastic items. And throughout the day, he will pull out items from his cupboard, put them back in again, pull them out, put them back in again. And look, to be honest, he doesn't always put them back in again. Um, but he might put one back in and leave six on the floor. But that's where he is developmentally at the moment. So I do like to try and get him involved in practical life skills. And it gives him purpose. He really enjoys doing those tasks. That's what I do. That's what his sister does. He wants to be involved in it as well. Next, we're off to put the washing on the line. So he likes to empty it from the washing machine. I don't have good footage of this. He emptied the whole thing while I was plaiting my daughter's hair. I just had to finish doing that. So I put some back in. So that I had some footage of it and he wasn't having a bar of it. And he's like, mom, I've already done this. The job's done. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're doing. So I'm just keeping it real here. I bought this pool chopper from Kmart. It was $6 and it's just a great way to chop up the onions um, and the kids can do it as well. And they're just pulling it. So they're just pulling that cord like you start the lawnmower. So he's just really started doing that. Um, he has a bit of a go, but like I said, it's he wants to be involved in those everyday tasks that I'm doing. And as I've mentioned in all my videos, we do try and go out once a day, whether we go for a walk or Kmart. But today we've got a play date at our house. So a three-year-old and a one-year-old are coming. So they're very similar in age. And even though my son, he doesn't really play with the other little girl, they're kind of both doing their own thing. Um, they did actually play pushing uh, aeroplane towards each other, but otherwise they're just busy doing their own thing. Whereas the three-year-olds went off and played together. Before each sleep and nap time, we like to read a book. So right here, he is now choosing his own books. So that too gives him a bit of confidence. It allows him to make some decisions, which, you know, as toddlers, they're just wanting to show their independence. So this is an opportunity for him to be able to choose his own book. And then he brings it back to me. And this one's called First Words. And I do really love it. It's got photographs as the pictures. So I think that's why he really enjoys it as well. And I just point to things as I go along. And then coming up here, you'll see that I see on the last page, it's all about counting. Baby, shoe, shoe, chick, car, ball, block, flower, pencil, flower. And so the game has become, he will point to one and then I say what it is. Does like to read this book twice. Sometimes he tries to read it three times. <laughs> Stays in the tray or it goes away. No eating, no throwing. Joe's feeding the horse. That's good, isn't it, darling? 
So after he's had a big sleep today, I'm going to be trying some sensory play. So I haven't done it for a little while. Um, we did some rainbow rice and then he started throwing it. The impulse was too strong. So today we've got some couscous that I've put down here. And right at the start, I say oh it stays in the tray or it goes away and no throwing, no eating. And because Miss Three knows those rules, she says them as well. So here he is working on some scooping and picking up the couscous and putting it down. And then the impulse became too strong. And so he threw it. And I reminded him that it stays in the tray or it goes away. And then he had to do it again. So I just removed him and put him in the Josh playroom. My daughter was play. happily playing That's with right. this. So I wanted her to keep going with it. He came back. I repeated how we play. Time, and then it was too strong. He wanted to see that cause and effect of throwing the couscous on the ground. So what I did was I put it up onto the table so that just my three-year-old could play with it. Um, and we'll try again another day. What I've done here is the tub's really important. So that creates a boundary. As you can see, he can do a lot of stuff in there. And then I've got the towel on the floor as well. And I just backed it up really quickly. It's an activity that if you're worried about the mess, it's great to just do it outside. But as I've said in one of my videos in this one here, some parenting tips, I really talked about the benefits that I've noticed from doing sensory tubs and how that has translated into when we're out and about following the rules, you know, to keep everyone safe. So I will persist with this. I just sit with him the whole time. Stays in the tray. He does get tempted to try and eat it. Um, and I just say, yuck, not in your mouth. And I just try and say That's it really right. cool and confident and not with too much of a reaction or otherwise he'll keep doing it for the reaction. And then what I've done with this is I've just put the lid on it after we've finished playing with it and I'll keep it for seven to 10 days. Do you like doing sensory bins? Do you find them too messy? Are they scary? Let me know. Um, and if I can help you out, I'll try to. This is just what I've learned through experience. And then while she was doing that, he went back to the car ramp. So this playroom is a mess and I need to clean it up because the environment is so important for encouraging play. If we relate it to us, if our kitchen is a mess, if our bench is covered in stuff, it doesn't invite play, does it? You're just like, oh, I can't be bothered. So it's really important that the environment is clear and inviting so that they can get into play. So yeah, I definitely need to clean this up. We actually have a good routine at the end of the day before bath time, it gets cleaned. Miss Three actually sings a packing up song that she's made up and cleans it all up. I don't throughout the day clean it too much. I mean, I could spend my whole day tidying it and I just don't have time for that. So I do make sure at the end of the day, it's fresh for the next day. That's really important. I did notice when they were younger, so you know, under 12 months that I really needed to clean it throughout the day. He keeps carrying this whisk around. <laughs> He's pushed it through here. I'm gonna try it with some pom-poms in it. We'll see how we go. Pom-poms are 100% a choking hazard. So I'm gonna to need to sit there right in front of him while he's pulling them out of here so that he doesn't try and put them in his mouth. I've gone with really big pom-poms. It's the first time we've done this activity so it'll be easier for me to keep an eye on them and see where they're going. If you followed any of my videos, you know I talk often about following your child's lead. So he's been carrying around this whisk. Yuck, not in your mouth. The house. This is fantastic. Look at those fine motor skills, trying to pull those out, problem solving, attention. It held his attention for quite a while doing this. And like I said, if it went to his mouth, I was quickly onto him and I don't allow him to put pom-poms in his mouth. So I really do believe activities don't have to be expensive. This was a new one that we did today and it worked really well. Pull, pull, pull. yay, you pulled it out. Well done, pulling. You know, but there's been activities. So recently I did ripping paper. He likes to rip up toilet paper into tiny little pieces. So I thought he will love this. You know, I'll follow his lead. So I had some paper, had it in a container and he wasn't having a bar of it. <laughs> all he did was throw it out. So I'm sharing that because I want you to know that not all activities work out, even if you're following your child's lead. But do you know what? I'll try again around Christmas time with all that Christmas paper. He can do some more ripping. So to make this sticky wall, I've used painter's tape, contact paper and just scissors. And then we're going to put some magnetic tiles on. These are our favorite brand kinetics. And this is why I enclose the whole lot. 
sticky wall. This is great for sibling play. This is an activity that I'm going to set up so both of them can play. They're going to play differently. He's just going to pull off those magnetic tiles. Whereas my daughter, I'm going to put a number and we're going to make the number with the magnetic tiles and then we'll take them off. So kind of number of the day, I suppose, for her as like a preschool activity. But for him, we're just pulling them on and off. When he was younger, I did this with the fridge. I just put them on the fridge and he would try and pull them off. And it was a great challenge. Like I said, it's that cause and effect. It's that confidence and gratification of pulling them off and then banging on the floor. I did eventually just put down a towel because it was quite noisy. They're sticking on, aren't they, boy? And then this DIY I did a couple of days ago, my thought was that he would pull them out. So I just did three holes and then put the colors around it so that we could start on some color matching as well. So that's what I'm talking about here. Yeah, red, red, yellow, green. But he decided to do the activity by pushing them through and then lifting up the cardboard box and going again. Still a great activity for development. He's just doing it in his own way. Open, shut them, open, shut. Here I am having a peek at his play from indoors. So he's out at the sandpit with the spade and he's just doing some digging. We've recently been to the beach and we did a lot of making sandcastles because it was pretty cold. But, you know, the kids, they still do go in the water. But this sandpit he does really like. And then I had to show you this. So this is his favorite toy at the moment in the bath. That's why I had to show you. So it is just an empty bubble bath bottle. He pushes it under the water, it bubbles away as it's filling up with water, and then he pours the water out and he just does that on repeat. I hope this video was helpful. As always, come and follow us on Instagram if you wanna see what we're up to. I'll link that down below for you. Happy playing everyone. Thanks for watching, bye.